Welcome back, Curvy Gang. So today's video is going to be a how to color your hair extensions. And in this video, we used about two shades of blue. So if you like this color and you want to see how I achieved it, then make sure you stay tuned for the video. So the hair I'm using in this video is the Peruvian Natural Wave um, in the inches 14, 16, 18. The hair was purchased from All Virgin Hair Boutique. I'm just showing you guys the consistency of the bleaching powder and my techniques for bleaching. As you guys can tell, my brush, my brush is angled. So you want to make sure that you angle the brush so that you don't come out with a straight and harsh line. Um, you want it to have kind of that ombre effect and you do want to make sure you open the bundles up so that your coloring doesn't come out blotchy you want to make sure you get those dark spots that's hiding in between um the surface level of the bleaching and here i'm just showing you how i saturated the hair opening the bundle up rubbing the bleach through the ends to make sure the ends are completely saturated um and again i'm just going to repeat those steps for the other side of the hair The shampoo and conditioner that I used was the Main and Tail Deep Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And I kind of use this for all of my weaves. So here I'm just rinsing out the bundles that were already at the desired color level. And again, I did not leave the bleach on very long because again, this was a Peruvian Natural Wave. And I wanted the wave to still be consistent in the hair and I did not want to strip it. So, you guys, now I'm just going to shampoo the bundles. And one thing I want to mention is you want to make sure that you shampoo the wefts. A lot of people will shampoo their hair and forget to shampoo the wefts. So, you need to make sure you shampoo the wefts, especially if, if this is hair that has been already installed and is going for a second or third installment so make sure you get the webs clean too because that's where the bulk of the dirt from the hair will be because that's the part that's attached to your scalp especially if you know you sweat in your head and everything so just make sure you shampoo the hair thoroughly So because this hair is going for another install, I just wanted to show you guys that I'm going to do a deep conditioning treatment and I use some Apple G Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner, the Main and Tail Deep Conditioner, and a silicone mix and mixed it all in a bag and I let the hair sit in a bag for several hours. Um, as you guys can see by this little clip, the ends look very moisturized and, you know, the conditioner is doing what it do. It's working in there to get every strand back to its potential, you guys. So after you rinse the conditioner out, you just want to make sure you let the hair air dry overnight. And this is the color payoff. It's coming off a little bit more red on camera than it actually was. But um, as you guys can see, the waves in the hair are still pretty consistent. And that's thanks to me not leaving the bleach on for so long. We're going to color the hair and we're using the adore color in royal navy and here i'm just gonna start the ombre effect on this bundle by using the darkest color at the top um and as you guys can see i'm just i separated it and put the color in the bowl because both colors were blue and they look pretty dark in the bowl so i didn't want to get them mixed up and i'll show you the second color used here in just a minute but you guys make sure you saturate the hair thoroughly with this color because you want it to be all over the hair okay um so now you guys are going to see the second color and it's the indigo blue and this is the color that gave off that purple effect um as you guys know indigo is a shade of purple so this color is like a purple blue um 
and that's the color that that's the purple that you guys were seeing in the first clip of the video and i'm just gonna go through and add this color on the ends and i used this color straight out the bottle i didn't put in a bowl because i didn't want to get the two colors confused um and again so just make sure you guys thoroughly saturate the hair make sure you flip the hair over because you don't want to leave any brown spots or bleached blonde spots in the hair so it's necessary that you flip the hair over and i know you guys can see like the color is supposed to be blue but like on the paper it's coming off purple um i'm not sure why that is but you know as you guys saw in the clip there was blue in the hair um, so I guess this is just how the Adore color comes out. I do want to add that it's important that you blur the lines between the separate colors so that there is no line of demarcation. Um, that's a very important step. Also, I did not use this same method for all of the bundles. Some of the bundles I decided to streak with the separate colors. So one section would be the royal navy the other section would be the indigo blue and i just made sure i alternated it like that um so this next clip coming up is going to show you why it's important that you turn the hair over to make sure that you get all of the bleach spots because there were still some uncolored spots so you make sure that you flip the bundle over so that you can get all of the hair um, and again, you make sure you go in at an angle, use the brush angled so that there is no line of demarcation. And when you use, when you're using more than one color, make sure that you blend the colors in the middle where there's a, so there won't be a line of demarcation. So once you've blended out the colors and you have the hair completely saturated to your desire, then now you just let the hair sit. And the amount of time that you let the hair color for is up to you. I just let it sit for about 12 hours while I was at work. So this is the final product. I really love the way this color came out. You can see the blue and the purple. It's subtle enough, but still visible enough. And she loved the way the color came out. You guys, I just think it's important that you know that coloring hair does take a while. So you have to trust the process and make sure you be patient because it can easily go wrong. So this is definitely something that you need to take your time with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment below if you guys want to see more like this. Until next time, Curvy Gang. Bye.